2023 was a spectacular year for Prodigy. There were many massive updates. Like, way too many to count, I'm pretty sure. I know I have had so much fun this year going through and talking about all of the updates throughout the entire year and just everything that has been happening. And out of the many updates that we had, in this video I am going to go over the top 5 best updates that, in my opinion, Prodigy gave us in 2023. These are in order from my personal favorite to, well, the fifth one, which is, of course, not my least favorite. It's not going to be bad at all. I really like all of these updates. So let's go ahead and get into number five. So in fifth place, we have... The inclusion of teacher rewards this year. So for the majority of this year, we have been able to get teacher rewards, exclusive rewards sent from a teacher account in Prodigy just about every month. It was just excluding the summer months, and I believe it started in March. We have been able to get unobtainable items from the teacher rewards system, and I really like that. The variety of items is nice, and I really love this up these updates a lot, seeing what we are going to be getting next month. And I can't wait to see what teacher rewards are going to be available during 2024. Alright, so the number four spot on this list is going to go to all of the quest updates that we got this year. That includes all the Firefly Forest quest updates and the uh, Pippet mini-boss battles that we got in the elemental areas for quest updates as well. Personally, I loved seeing a new story in Firefly Forest. I think it was certainly time for a change and playing through that change and seeing what Prodigy would come up with was very um, exciting in the few months, well, it was more like four months that um, the quests were slowly being updated. And I can only imagine that we should be getting more quest updates, especially for Shiverchill Mountains in 2024. I expect that we will be seeing that and I can't wait to see what the story is going to be. The new story has been looking great so far in my opinion. So this takes the number 4 spot. So the number 3 spot is going to go to basically all of the unobtainable items updates that we got this year, such as the major shop update that added many items to the elemental shops and other shops as well. This unfortunately removed furniture and buddies. We still don't have those back yet, and we don't for sure know if we're going to get them back. But we did get like the Draconique's gear in Hot Hot Threads. And we did get the Steamwork set, finally in Sky High Values. And we got all of the Titan sets added to the Titan Shop. So this is definitely a big plus for me. I really loved this update it came out on august 1st and it was great see getting all of these new things i loved it and this also goes for the shadow crates that is also included in this update well in this section of the list the treasure track was also included and well quite a few other things that we got this year so also the parent uh, parent uh Parent rewards, that's what I mean, um, the rewards you get, uh, can't, sorry, can't think of them, um, but where we got, like, the double puppy, and the, um, kitten, tr kitten trio, all those added to, uh, parent rewards, so that was, that's included there as well, so I really like all of those, and how many unobtainable things we were able to get this year, and I, I'm excited to see what we are going to be able to get next year with 
other unobtainable items updates. So we'll see. So in the number two spot is going to be Prodigy's big battle update, the entire thing. Of course, I recognize that this started very late in 2022, but um, it was basically only found out around January 3rd. That's when I made my video on it. That's the first one, the first video that popularized the battle update. And so I'm counting it as part of this year because, and also partially just because it spread so long into this year. It was, I believe, April that everybody finally received the update and then we were still getting updates to it after that. So it's been a long process. But this update revolutionized the way we play Prodigy and it made us think and have to change a lot of how we played and i loved it i loved this all year the growing with the new battle update and seeing how it would expand over the months that it was being beta tested and then finally fully released i believe it is a great change from how things used to be and I think that all like the new spells, including all the astral spells, physical spells, shadow spells, all of that goes in this category as well, of course, since they came along with the battle update. I really like all of that kind of thing, like the wands being able to cast the spells and all that. New pet changes, new elements, of course. I love the battle update. I've said it all year. It's the second best Prodigy update of 2023, in my opinion. By this point, you may have been able to guess what the number one spot on this list is. And yes, it is the big Puppet Master update that we got July 26th, 2023. I guess I am also including the Puppet Master's reskin in here as well. So I have already talked about how this is my absolute favorite battle in Prodigy. I love everything that Prodigy did with it, creating it, designing it. It was such an amazing output and so surprising. Nobody expected this to be coming in July of this year. We didn't get the Storm Tower, but that's okay because what I believe we got, well, I believe what we got is better than what we would have gotten had we continued getting a tower every two years. I think this output is better and I think Prodigy made the right decision because now they get to uh, change the story up and make it a bit different when it comes to the towers since we assume they still plan on releasing them as part of the next uh, section of the game. So again, the big Puppet Master update around halfway through this year, a little bit over halfway, July 26th. That is the number one update that Prodigy gave us in 2023, of course, in my opinion. So yes, this is my top five updates from Prodigy in 2023. As I said in the beginning, there were so many updates this year, I did not have the time to go over a many of them, such as the dual stadium, the the rest of the boots getting updated, plenty of aesthetic changes, and much more. Like I said, Prodigy had an amazing year in 2023, and I'm very pleased with what we re received as updates in this year. So, I will also have a follow-up video to this coming out sometime soon on all the updates that we that i believe we need to see from prodigy in 2024 so what do you think about my top five 2023 prodigy updates do you agree or disagree with these and let me know your own list in the comments happy new year everybody here's to another great year in prodigy